I've always had this uh, burning desire to be a champion. I always had this burning desire to be the best. And I think that once you've uh, had that desire and once you've had that want, and you've had it for such a long time, it ain't something you just turn off and turn on. Once you got it, you got it. Oh, it's 100% worth it. It's 100% worth it. Because the interesting thing about it is, and the ironic thing about it is, even though you're only on stage for, let's say, 15, 20 minutes, the impact that you can leave on that stage can last forever. To be a pro bodybuilder right now, your desire to be the best physique has to outweigh all those other things that are coming to the forefront. There's got to be something deep down that's keeping me going that I probably don't even know what it is. Because I'm still in the gym, still got the goal of being the best. It's like it's in the blood. And I think passion is something that you can't actually describe. Every single morning, whether it's in the mirror for 20 seconds, out here after cardio, it's, it'll never leave me. I did it for, fuck, what, 20 years. It's definitely something I think getting into it, it's gotta be for the right reasons. If you wanna compete, you gotta love competing. You gotta love training. Everything else will either come or it won't. I actually like when people tell me I'm not gonna do something. I wanna be constantly proving people wrong. I wanna constantly be improving. It's a sport that you get out of it what you put into it. So this is a chosen field. And now that I'm at this level, it's even more demanding. And I just deal with it because I want the success and I just can't really let anything stand in the way of that. I'm not gonna say, and you know, some people say the training's more important, the food's more important, the drugs are more important. It's all fucking important. It's all important. You need the food, the training, the, the supplements, the, you need all of it. You need all of it to put on muscle optimally. The truth is, it's not very pretty. It, you, you really have to suffer. When you get down to sub 4% body fat, sometimes you get so tired, the thought of even talking, you know, just even having a conversation seems exhausting. And you really don't understand it until you've lived it. The gym is my happy hour. The gym is my Friday night. This is what I live for. Life will fucking beat the fuck out of you. It will just, it will mangle you if you let it. Between just toxic people, your own demons in your own head, all the shit that you think about, deal with personally. Like, bro, it'll fuck you up. That's why you need good people. That's why you need outlets. This is therapy. I endure the pain that I, that I get here. I feel like I'm releasing so much of that. I'm leaving it here. So I don't go back home and feeling unhappy about myself. It's how you train. It's years and years of that high intensity, hard training, balls to the wall with heavy weight. And that's how you build it. You build that dense, grainy muscle. And when you get super shredded, it has a completely different look than someone who doesn't train like that. It's not what you do, but it's how you do it. So if you're training with intensity, pushing yourself, making every exercise more difficult, and training to or close to failure, you will create muscle hypertrophy. Normally pretty happy-go-lucky guy, but those top sets will make you go places sometimes. Bodybuilding is just one of those things that I have never, ever, it doesn't matter what time of day I get my ass to the gym, and I love it. There's no ifs, ands, or buts, I'm getting the training in. If I'm not on a regimen, on a diet, and I'm not training, I'm, I'm like not happy.
I don't have problems, just more work to do. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I don't even think about the uh, pain factor. It, pain has just become part of what I do.